outside the cylinder. But right now we got this. We got a little lead, we got a little hanging lead step. It's like bang, bang. bang. You're, like, you're getting your foot on the ground, your hat's right there. Both hands. Got both hands on it. Okay? Uh, now, if that guy does anything inside here, or if you feel this guy cold nosing you, you know the guard, do you guys understand cold nosing? Because you don't. Somebody must have. All right, right, if you find this guy running up your back, then and you feel pressure, then you start to start looking over the top. Anything that goes inside, you'll feel pressure, and immediately start looking over the top. Okay? Stay on this guy until you knock him, and the ideal thing would be to knock him, knock him, block him with his ass. Get a 600 pound double team in our league and go block the linebacker that flows and block him with the defensive end's ass. That'd be the ideal thing. That works that way a lot. Okay, so if he, if he works, leans inside or all that kind of stuff, start looking, you know, start, start uh, looking over the top. Now, No, I can't do that one yet. I can't do the center bump yet. This, I gotta get to the Okay now. Oh, well. Okay, now if you're still on the outside, you're uncovered with normal depth and width, which is the thing that I'm talking here. Okay? Normal depth and width is I don't know what that we'll, we'll come to the other thing, the overlap technique here in a second. The uncovered uh, you the uncovered guy, you got normal depth and width of the linebacker, the width of the down guy. Uh, a normal, normal situation like we got. Yeah. You got a normal situation like this right here. He's kind of in a normal position. He's in a normal position. You don't know what they're going to do. Okay. When you have that, you're going to take a drop step. Get the arch of the foot of your foot in the ground. Your right foot. Okay. Take the arch of the foot in the ground. You're going to cross over. Okay. And you're going to run a course. Your landmark is to piss on the foot of the defense, def defensive end. I told you I was going to get so we pissed on somebody here. So, <clears throat> so you're going to piss on the foot of the defensive, the defensive line. Uh, you got an outside middle target. Stay on the defensive lineman until you reach the depth of the linebacker until he comes to you. All right. A lot of instruction. I'll come back and put this up here again. All right. So that means this guy's got his head outside. Bruce. Okay, there's the foot of the normal defensive end. There's the inside foot right there. Drag your what? How's that? Good, thank you. Uh, is my shoulder in the way? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a drop step, cross over, run a little curved course, and you're, that's your landmark right there. You're, what you're doing is you're figuring that this guy's going to see the axe in the backfield. You're planning on that guy flowing in a normal manner. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this other stuff. But this is all. What that is is your that course is going to take you and straddle a normal defensive end. This is a normal defensive end on the tackle. On that normal defensive end, go piss on his foot. Go piss on the foot where it was. Okay, if he was normal. Okay. Okay. So that's for that part. Go back to this deal. See the linebacker feel the pile. Okay. Uh, what the hell? Is, I don't even have my right hand. Lead hand's got to go. Oh, right here, the lead hand got to go up. Right there. Drop step, cross over. Lead hand goes up. I said that. I showed you that guard. He went boop like this. He's like Pavlov's dog. You know all these drills that we do over and over and over and over and over again. They can do it in their sleep. Okay. So that his hand has to go up. Now see the linebacker feel the pile. Here he is. Don't abandon your course, wait for the linebacker to, re to, to react. Don't be impulsive. Two hands, or one hand goes to two hands. Okay, now, watch this. Got my right hand out, normal depth. I'm gonna stay right in here like this. Mike said that this guy can do one of three things. He can hang there, he can, he can hang right there, or he can go up there. He can do one of three things. When you're doing this, the most difficult thing that I think to teach the guy, the uncovered guy, is to stay on course. 
Because what happens to him is, if that's the defensive end, he starts here like this and he goes, and that guy hangs. Oh, pretend I just made that first couple steps. This guy, he does this. And he moved yet. So what does this guy do? He goes like this. Okay? Now, about the time that happened, this guy takes one step, now you're screwed. You might still make contact, but you don't have your hat, you don't have any leverage right. You don't have me covered up. So what happens is I come forward like this, now you have to turn me here. Now the ball carrier has to run here. Okay? No, you don't want to do that. Just slow yourself, just like the ball carrier, slow yourself down. Don't be in a big hurry. I mean, I'm not saying waddle and creep. Come on. Come on. Now, if you want to hang there, when I get to, when, 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 we, get, when we get to the, boom, now there's a big hole here. Okay? Remember I said, one hand, and then the other thing I said was one hand goes to two. That was the first thing he can do, is they hang back. The next thing that happens is, is that the guy flows. He started into that thing and he flows and he attacks. Boom. So you got your head beat. The next thing that happens is this guy sees it, he goes, and he comes to here. Okay? Not, we're not ready for two hands yet, but getting close. So we started like this. See the backer, feel the pile. He starts in there, and he's starting to go into two hands now. He hangs there, let's drive this guy right back into it. Okay, now I've got two hands on it, all right? If he flows over the top, then this guy feels it. One hand goes to two. Just like the guy that's got the covered guy, he's going, mm. two hands, that guy goes inside a little bit, one, two hands go to one, I free it up. Okay, free up your hand. If he leans inside, free up your hand. Don't do this to put him, to put him on. Keep your outside hand free. <coughs> outside hand free. He goes inside. <coughs> two, two hands go to one. If you're the uncovered guy, one hand goes to two. Okay? Now I'll cover the bump. Alright? Now here's what you're going to do on a bump. This guy's going to, remember I said he's going to block back like he's got his head on the wrong side and all that stuff. He's going to, he's going to do the same thing. Center, when you're going to get bump help, I call it bump. And that's what we say in the game. The center doesn't think he can get him, so Kevin said bump. Okay? And so when he says bump, now he knows he's by himself or he gets help later. All right now, footwork does not inside footwork. Okay? Take outside footwork, take a drop step, and then jack his shoulder up with your shoulder, and then go to the back. So it looks something like this. Your complaint is the center. The chair is the offset nose man. Okay? And so the guard, and can you guys see the tree? The tree is the linebacker. That's about where the linebacker is, okay? So you'll, you'll get an idea, you're going to see my body move when I, I got to get to that guy, but I got to help the center with this guy. Center's got real important. Just because you're getting help, don't shorten up what you're going to do. Try and block him by yourself. We're just going to give you help. Snap the ball. Dude, I'm going there. Okay, that's where I'm going. This guy here is going to go like this. Whoop. I'll take a little drop set. I used to call it a rocker step. Rock back. Let the center come. Here comes it. He got me now. He got where I am. Okay, this guy does bang, and there he is. There's the shoulder. And I'm going to take the point of my shoulder right there. I'm not going to give it a forearm. I'm not going to, just going to jack up the shoulder. So I'm going to go like this. That's all I'm going to do. I hope I got my knees bent a little better. But since I'm as old as I am, I can demonstrate it. Say that. No, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not waiting. I'm not going to wait. Now I'm headed for the, okay, I'm headed for that guy. Or if this guy wants to hang, you stay right there, okay? But I will not do this, because I'll, I'll, I'll work against the center if I do this. If I step, boom, boom, if I do that, the center, it looks like this to the center. He snaps the ball, it goes like, that's what it looks like. 
Now when you leave, there's the center and there's your ball carrying it. You've got nothing. That's the bump. Next. How am I doing, Wiles? Hey, Coach. Yes. When you, when you bump, how, how does that change? Does that change the tackle at all? You, you, when you say bump, the tackle knows by himself. Right. I mean, his leg mark. What is this? Outside number. I mean, outside, outside number. He's going to put his hat in the outside. He knows that he's got to slow himself down because he can't get wet. Five to four, five to four, and just go take him inside. Take him wherever he goes. Uh, uh, tr uh, trust me, if you get real good at it, it starts happening a lot. I've ricocheted a bump off into a slip. Right. I've ricocheted that. I work on it a lot because our own defense, they'll tighten this end up, offset the nose. We need help there. This guy pinches. The doctor does that. Ain't pretty, but you get to come.